Have you ever wondered who or what the Anunnaki are? A question that has stirred the minds of many, leading to a labyrinth of theories and debates. The Anunnaki, often shrouded in a cloak of mystery and controversy, have intrigued us for as long as their name has graced the pages of history. These enigmatic figures have become the subject of numerous conspiracy theories. Their existence hotly debated among historians, archaeologists, and UFO enthusiasts alike. Some see them as mythical gods, others as ancient astronauts, and some as mere figments of Sumerian folklore. The mystery of the Anunnaki is a puzzle, a mesmerizing enigma that has baffled and fascinated us in equal measure. The Anunnaki enigma challenges us to question, to explore, to unravel the threads of history, mythology, and speculation. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of the Anunnaki. Our journey begins in ancient Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. A land nestled between the mighty Euphrates and Tigris rivers, where the world's first cities rose, and the art of writing was born. Here, we find the earliest known references to the Anunnaki, a term that has intrigued scholars and sparked countless debates. The term Anunnaki, derived from the Sumerian language, roughly translates to those of royal blood, or offspring of Anu, the sky god. These beings held a prominent place in the pantheon of the Sumerians, one of the world's oldest civilizations. These ancient texts inscribed on clay tablets in the cuneiform script offer us a window into the beliefs, myths, and legends of a society that thrived over 4,000 years ago. In these texts, the Anunnaki were depicted as deities associated with the underworld, earth, and the sky. They were believed to be the divine judges who decided the fates of humanity. On earth, they were associated with the forces of nature and the changing seasons while in the sky they were linked to celestial bodies and the vast cosmos. The Anunnaki were not just revered as deities, but were also the subjects of epic tales and myths. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the world's oldest known pieces of literature, mentions the Anunnaki, further solidifying their place in the ancient Sumerian cultural fabric. These ancient texts also hint at the Anunnaki's role in the creation of mankind. According to Sumerian mythology, the Anunnaki were said to have crafted humans from the clay of the earth, breathing life into them. This belief underscores the influential role the Anunnaki held in the religious and societal structure of ancient Sumer. Understanding the Anunnaki through the lens of ancient Sumerian texts allows us to appreciate the depth of their significance in the early chapters of human history. They were more than just mythical beings. They were symbols of power, wisdom, and the mysteries of the universe. Now that we have a glimpse into their ancient origins, let's explore their role in mythology. In ancient myths, the Anunnaki were far more than mere deities. The Anunnaki, as chronicled in the ancient Sumerian texts, were viewed as divine beings, but their role extends far beyond the confines of celestial heavens. They were revered as the architects of civilization, descending to earth to bestow mankind with the gifts of knowledge and progress. In Sumerian mythology, the Anunnaki are personified as gods of the sky, earth, and underworld. They were the children of An, the primeval sky god, and Kai, the earth goddess. These deities were not remote or aloof. They walked among men, guided them, and even intermingled with them. They taught humans the rudiments of civilization, from the basic skills of agriculture to more complex systems like law and kingship. The term Anunnaki itself translates to those of royal blood or princely offspring, underscoring their elevated status in the pantheon of gods. However, they were not simply rulers in the heavenly realm. They were seen as the judicious force behind the rise and fall of human leaders, determining the fate of kingdoms and empires. In Akkadian mythology, which evolved from and overlapped with Sumerian beliefs, the Anunnaki were also associated with the underworld. They were the judges of the dead, determining the fate of the souls that crossed into their realm. This dual role as life bringers and death dealers further enhanced their enigmatic image in the ancient world. The Anunnaki were also believed to have brought the arts and sciences to humanity. They were the patrons of scribes, seers, healers, and builders. From their celestial abode, they were said to have descended upon the earth, bringing with them the spark that ignited the progress of human civilization. So, the Anunnaki were not just gods in the traditional sense, they were teachers, judges, and royal bloodlines believed to have shaped the course of human history and culture. From here, the story of the Anunnaki takes an even more fascinating turn. 
Could the Anunnaki have been visitors from another planet? It's a question that has stirred debate among historians, scientists, and enthusiasts of the unknown. Some theories suggest that these ancient deities were in fact extraterrestrial beings. One popular theory revolves around the idea that the Anunnaki were not of this Earth, but rather ancient astronauts from a distant planet. This theory primarily stems from the works of authors like Zechariah Sitchin. Sitchin, in his Earth Chronicles series, interpreted ancient Sumerian texts and posited that the Anunnaki were beings from Nibiru, a yet undiscovered planet that supposedly orbits our Sun every 3,600 years. According to Sitchin, these extraterrestrial beings arrived on Earth around 450,000 years ago. Their mission? To mine gold for their planet's deteriorating atmosphere. The Anunnaki, being advanced beings, were said to have created the first humans as a labor force through genetic manipulation of hominids that roamed the Earth at the time. Sitchin's theories, while fascinating, are not without their critics. Many experts in the field of ancient languages and history find his interpretations of ancient Sumerian texts to be flawed. They argue that his works are based more on speculation and a vivid imagination than on factual evidence. Despite such criticisms, Sitchin's theories have found a home in the realm of science fiction and have influenced popular culture in many ways. They've sparked a renewed interest in ancient history, mythology, and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. And they've inspired books, movies, and even video games causing many to question our place in the universe and our understanding of history. Whether or not you believe in these theories, the Anunnaki's influence on our culture is undeniable. Their legacy, whether terrestrial or extraterrestrial, continues to intrigue and provoke thought, reminding us that, sometimes, the answers to our most profound questions may lie beyond the stars. The Anunnaki's legacy stretches far beyond ancient Mesopotamia. Their influence seeps into the very fabric of our culture, casting a wide net over various aspects of our lives. From literature to popular media, the Anunnaki story is one that has enthralled audiences for centuries, inspiring countless narratives and narratives within narratives. Take a moment to consider the vast body of literature that has been shaped by their mythos. From academic treatises to speculative fiction, the Anunnaki have carved a niche in the literary world acting as muses for authors who weave tales of their mysterious origins and potential influence on the human race. Their story has been interpreted, reinterpreted, and transformed. But the essence remains, a fascinating tale of celestial beings with an inexplicable connection to humanity. But the Anunnaki's influence doesn't stop at the written word, they've also found a home in the realm of popular media. Movies, with their larger-than-life depictions, have portrayed the Anunnaki in various forms, from the archaic and mystical to the technologically advanced and alien. These cinematic representations often explore the tantalizing question, what if the Anunnaki were real and had a direct hand in our evolution? And let's not forget the world of interactive media. Video games, an art form in their own right, have harnessed the Anunnaki's rich lore to create immersive experiences. From grand strategy games to action-packed adventures, these digital narratives allow players to delve into a world shaped by the Anunnaki, offering a unique perspective on their mythos. As we've seen, the Anunnaki's influence is far-reaching, permeating various facets of our culture. Their story, ripe with mystery and intrigue, continues to captivate us, pushing the boundaries of our imagination and fueling our quest for understanding. They become more than ancient deities of a bygone civilization. They become a symbol, a source of inspiration, a canvas onto which we project our hopes, fears, and curiosities. So, who were the Anunnaki? The answer depends on who you ask. Today we delved into the enigma of the Anunnaki. We journeyed back to the cradle of civilization, where ancient Sumerian texts first introduced us to these enigmatic beings. We explored the intricate tapestry of mythology where the Anunnaki hold a prominent place, shaping the stories and beliefs of countless cultures. Then we ventured into the realm of the extraordinary, entertaining theories that propose the Anunnaki as visitors from other worlds, extraterrestrial beings influencing the course of human history. And finally, we examined the vast influence they have wielded on our culture from art and literature to religion and philosophy. Throughout this journey, we've encountered a myriad of interpretations and possibilities. The Anunnaki, these timeless beings, have served as gods, aliens, and symbols of cultural change. Their story, 
etched in ancient texts and echoed in modern theories, remains a compelling part of our shared human narrative. Whether they were gods, aliens, or something else entirely, the Anunnaki continue to captivate us with their mystery.